Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn a very special scenario where we have a multi value parameter and then we have set some default values for that parameter. When, once uh, we set those uh, values, uh, what happens? We do not see any record uh, shown in the table or the detail. So we need to figure that out. So let's uh, go ahead and create that report and then we will figure out. Uh, so let's uh, uh, go to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and uh, run our query so we have this query that return us some results uh, and here is our parameter that's where, we, where that's what we are going to use uh, as a multi-value parameter and these are the records uh, so we will select any random uh, columns from here so let's take all of the columns and uh, go ahead and create a report uh, now here in the ssrs project uh, we have a shared data source uh, and it is pointing to the sales database uh, so we are good our table is in the sales uh, uh, database so we can use that one now come back to the SSDT SQL Server data tools and if you don't have it you can right click here and create your shared data source what you have to do you have to provide the server name and the database name let's go to the reports now and here we will be selecting new item select your empty report and give some proper name in our case we are going to say default values multi value parameter and uh, I will say not working add empty report will be created here we have to create embedded data source or we can use the shared one so right click here add data source and in our case we are going to use the shared one so I'm going to rename this one I'm, I will call this one the uh, DS sales and here we will be selecting sales uh, uh, data source so that's our shared data source so it okay and next part we have to create a query for our report so we will be using this query and that will return us some results that's called data set so we call it D set and I'm going to call this one total sale we are all good here it's going to be embedded only used for this report and we call it the sales that's our data source and let's paste our query here now to make this uh, query or report multi value parameter now uh, what we have to do we have to write one line here we say where region in and then we have to provide the parameter name so we can call it at the rate region name you can provide any name what you like but for multi value you have to say in that's how you do it if you are creating single value you will be saying equal so that's the difference now we are all good let's come back here say insert and the table now table is inserted let's bring couple of columns and I'll actually more than couple so I want to more bring a region here uh, in this one and uh, let's bring a product name here just to at least our report look uh, some, something like a report instead of just having two columns now we are all good here just click here make it bold uh, give some background color to the header columns and uh, preview the report once you preview the report you will see uh, a parameter is created uh, and we can provide some value if I will provide uh, Asia it will return me Asian records uh, now if I will put comma and say Europe it should return me records uh, too because it is multi value but right now it's not multi value to make it multi value we have to go to design and go to the parameters and here we go to the region name parameter properties and here we have to tell uh, okay this parameter is multi value I would say at one point uh, maybe SSRS uh, um, team should consider that okay, and say okay if they are using in clause and uh, you know those uh, uh, from read from there and make it multi value so uh, I mean I, I don't know but anyways that could uh, uh, remove uh, this tab you could have remove it and uh, just uh, uh, automatically select that part okay saying okay as if you are using in clause in your query it's going to create uh, multi value parameter and you don't have to come back here and change it but who cares go to the uh, hit ok L now preview it here now it is multi value if I go ahead and provide some value and now if uh, we go and view a report it is returning us all the records for multiple regions maybe this is a 
a great idea to write all those names here but uh, sometime if we have client names and all that uh, may, uh, and uh, you have to write 10 of them then it will it will take some time and uh, we make mistakes with commas and uh, enters uh, and uh, that that can mess up our results um, so how about uh, having a drop down for this uh, multi value parameter now we go ahead and create a new data set in this data set we are going to call okay d data set region so we call it d uh, sorry region and uh, this is going to be select the data source and select distinct uh, region from uh, db or total sale we are all good here this is a, a returning or a, let me copy this one and show you what exactly it is returning so let's paste this one select it is returning us uh, four records one of them is null and go ahead and use it hit ok now we can preview our report the very first thing here is it did not take that data set automatically so we have to go and map that result set so go to the parameter again properties and here you will say available values get values from the query and the data set region okay value is coming in region and the label is also region so hit okay now i if i go ahead and preview my report i have the drop down the very first thing what happened that uh, null is missing so we can't really select the null why because uh, SSRS don't let us uh, select the null and uh, that's the reason so we can't see the null uh, here um, so what we can do we can go ahead and maybe we are missing some property let's go to the parameters and say parameter property allow null values so if we do that maybe it will help so hit ok so now we see that uh, we cannot use multi value parameter including uh, null values so that's a restriction that's why it did not uh, uh, show that null value in the drop down even uh, our result is uh, returning uh, the null with the uh, you can see that the query is returning four results and one of them is uh, null so that's the reason we can't do much about it i have a video on that uh, how to use uh, the null in multi uh, value parameter so you go and go ahead and watch that video but here we are gonna play a little different so we are going to see now it's fine we don't care about null and uh, we are fine we, we never wanted to get actually uh, think about that scenario we don't want to get all the any result that has null so we are fine with this report but one thing I want to do every time I come here I want to select uh, all the records and then uh, preview the report uh, why not to set some default values uh, so let's go to design and here go to parameters and say parameter values available values and then we have a default values and you guys have seen that in the available values I have used D set region in the default I can also use the same data set so D region D set region and the region that's the value it will be taken so now hit ok and preview the report now all of a sudden what happened it should bring some values so it is not showing us any results so if you select all of them these are the same values that our parameter has our um, SSDT or Visual Studio is kind of stuck and uh, I hope it will come back okay so it's in a Microsoft Visual Studio is busy uh, welcome back so I killed the process or Visual Studio and then reopen it so if you guys remember we were taking a preview and uh, with default values it did not show us anything but we can go ahead and select all the values and see if it returns so we can see that report is working just fine but default part is not working so let's go to the parameter one more time and right click parameter properties and in the available values we are using the same data set so we are using using a d set region in default we are using still the same data set there is no difference between them but when we will go ahead and preview the report for default is not taken those uh, values uh, if we go ahead and select uh, it is showing us uh, everything uh, so the problem is uh, if you remember here we have uh, a query that we use for a uh, deset region uh, one of the value is a uh, null uh, SSRS does not accept a null value for the uh, uh, for the multi-value parameter so that's the reason uh, here uh, in the preview if you guys take a look it never showed the null so that's fine but if we will uh, encourage uh, it to 
use that value in the default it will not show us the results so, so that's the problem so if I go ahead in the data set and now we go to the D set region and say where region is not null so now we're getting only the values which are not null hit okay and now preview the report and it came just fine so it took the default values now so if you have a, a null value in your uh, uh, parameter values for multi value parameter in the default you will have some problems so you have to eliminate that null so thanks very much for watching this video and if you want to use uh, null maybe you would like to convert that as a string uh, and in the parameter as well as in the data uh, main uh, data set or main data um, whatever you detail data set whatever you call the which one is returning all the field uh, set to uh, change that to the some string value say uh, null string value and uh, then uh, it will be comparing and it will bring, bring in all of that uh, so uh, I will encourage you go ahead and watch that video where I have created a, rep a report of how to use a, a null value in the multi uh, value parameter in SSRS and I have showed that technique how to handle those null situations. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.